Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I want to show you how to make this amazing, delicious, and healthy spaghetti squash bolognese. If you got any chance of eating healthy, you're going to have to have some tasty vegetable dishes under your belt, and this is by far one of them. Made with a delicious meat sauce, you're going to wonder why you haven't had spaghetti squash sooner. Hey, before we check out this recipe, check the description box below for the full ingredients list and directions. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. The first step is gonna be prepping our spaghetti squash, and you're gonna to wanna to take your time to cut this in half with a really sharp knife. So we're gonna put a knife right through the middle and just cleaver it down. Make sure that you're taking your time because uh, cutting these big woody vegetables can get a little dangerous if the knife slips. Now we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna scrape out the middle where the seeds are, and we're gonna use the spoon just like a blade and keep scraping until we get all the way down to the spaghetti squash and the seeds are all the way removed. Now we're going to take a little bit of olive oil and we're going to rub that right on the inside and we're going to put these cut side down on a lined baking sheet and they're going to go in a 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. I used to cook my spaghetti squash much longer but once I started cooking it for around 45 minutes it got nice and al dente and wasn't mushy. So now that's in the oven let's make our meat sauce. We're going to cut up some carrots, some celery and some onions along with crushing up some garlic cloves and these are the traditional vegetables that go inside a bolognese sauce. But instead of cutting this by hand, we're gonna bust out the food processor and help us out a little bit because we're gonna want these vegetables to be super duper fine and that's just gonna take forever with the knife. So let's use the food processor for the reasons that it exists. Now we're gonna get this super duper fine, almost to a paste consistency. We're gonna take that, we'll put that inside of a container and then we'll heat up this saute pan over a medium high heat. We're gonna add some oil and in goes some ground beef and some ground sausage. And we're gonna add the ground sausage here just for some extra flavor because spaghetti squash isn't the most flavorful vegetable. So let's flavor up that sauce. So now we're gonna continue to crumble up the ground sausage and the ground beef until we get into a nice crumbly consistency. We get a little bit of browning on there and then in go the processed vegetables. Now we're gonna mix those vegetables in there and season with a little bit of salt and some pepper. And the vegetables are gonna cook pretty quickly as they've been processed pretty fine, so it doesn't take a long time for them to cook. We're gonna add a little bit of butter and we're gonna mix that in until that's melted. Now we're gonna add some tomato paste. And we're gonna do the same. We're gonna keep mixing that until it's incorporated well throughout the meat and the vegetables. And now we're gonna throw in one can of crushed tomatoes and one can of petite diced. I like nice chunky tomatoes inside my sauce. And now we're gonna season again with a little salt and a little pepper. Now we're gonna add a little bit of the good stuff. This is some freshly dried oregano from my mom's garden. Thanks mom for sharing your stash. Now we're gonna mix that and look how beautiful that sauce looks. So now we're gonna set that aside and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. And this would be a great time to shred our mozzarella cheese that's gonna go on top of the spaghetti squash bowls. So once those have been cooking for about 45 minutes, I'm gonna let them cool for an, about another five or 10. And then I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna scrape out all of the insides. I'm gonna take my time here not to damage the shells because we're gonna use those for a boat. We're gonna put a couple spoonfuls of the bolognese sauce in there and I'm gonna give this just a nice rough mix. I'm not gonna go crazy. And once that's all mixed up, I'm gonna take the sauce mixture with the spaghetti squash and spoon them right back into the spaghetti squash shells. And we're gonna put that all in there and we'll even it out and make it nice and flat. And then we'll put a little bit of sauce on top for some good measure. Extra sauce never hurt anybody. Look how good that looks. Now we're gonna sprinkle with some freshly grated Pecorino Romano. Some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. And that's right, cheese number three, which is that shredded mozzarella that we shredded before. We're gonna put that, pile it up nice and high on top. And once that goes in the oven, that's gonna melt all over the top and look absolutely beautiful. We're gonna spray with just a touch of olive oil so none of this burns and it browns really nicely. 
And now we're going to send these back in that 400 degree oven for anywhere between 20 to 35 minutes or until that cheese is nice, melty, bubbly, and a little brown. And these look absolutely delicious and done. Now let's transfer them over to a serving platter. And this is how we're going to bring them over to the table. And instead of chiffonading some basil, we're just going to tear it up by hand, which is another way to put basil on top of uh, delicious food like this. And now look how amazing these look. The meat sauce recipe by itself is amazing, but paired up with the delicious spaghetti squash roasted to perfection, along with the melted cheese and the fresh basil, this is a home run dish that people are going to be asking for for days after you make it. So once these are on the serving plate, you just drop them on the table just like this, and then we're just going to scoop out into a bowl, and we're going to see how we did. And I know a lot of you are thinking like, oh, spaghetti squash isn't a good uh, substitute for pasta. Well, it's not pasta. It's spaghetti squash. So we're just eating spaghetti squash. This is not trying to be pasta. Oh, look how awesome this looks. Super healthy, super delicious, loaded with protein and vegetables. And just for good measure, a little extra cheese right on the top. Oh man, I am excited to try this. So on our bite, let's make sure we're getting some of that bolognese sauce, some of that melted cheese on top, some of the spaghetti squash. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth. Mm. And that sauce is unbelievable. I mean, I don't even care that I'm not eating pasta. This is so good. I'm going to go in for another bite. And this bolognese recipe you can use for basically anything, but it's a super flavorful version because of the Italian sausage. So it pairs really nicely with something that's not as flavorful like the, like the spaghetti squash. Mm. Wow. That's so good. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my spaghetti squash bolognese style. Let me know in the comments section how yours comes out. I'm gonna eat the rest of this. While I'm doing that, subscribe to my channel, give the like button a little love, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.